Well, hi there, and welcome back to the channel Wild and Wonderful Vintage and More Good Stuff. I'm your host, Sarah McDowell. And hey, listen, if you're first timer here, welcome. It's so glad to have you. And if you're coming back for more, thank you so much for supporting this channel and helping it grow. Having said that, if you're an artisan or a reseller, put your social uh, media information or your website links below. Resellers and artisans only if anybody out there gets naughty. I'm going to boot you. So anyway, we have another Goodwill Blue Box today. So we're going to open it up and we're going to see what kind of treasures we have in store for us today. Before we do that, I will show you a treasure that I'm wearing today. This is ivory, so I cannot sell it. Um, I'm going to switch my glasses so I can actually see. Uh, you know, obviously I don't support the poaching, killing, maiming, harming of any animal for any reason. Uh, I cannot sell this, so I am going to wear it. Um, not, again, to show or demonstrate support for the harming or maiming or poaching of any animal, but because it is a historical piece, uh, and uh, it's got carnelian, turquoise, onyx, bone and silver it is a, a a lovely piece and um it's it's quite heavy very heavy not like bone like some bone necklaces you can tell they're 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 heavy but they're kind of that hollow they're real porous um, but this is very heavy this piece here it is a food dog and i think i've featured it on the channel before but um yeah, it is a, a really spectacular piece. Just looking to see if you guys can see it. But anyway, all right, let's get started. All right, let's see what we got in here, folks. So what's a good one? to this last time. Not the same, but similar. Okay, let's get into it. <clears throat> let's just take that little doodad right off the top. It is glass. The last one was silver. This appears to be silver. I love this. I know some people might not like I love this type of stuff. And, you know, last, I think it was the last video we did, we had a ton of, um, oh, those choker, adjustable choker necklaces, and this would go really well on that. Yeah. Okay, let's see what else we got here. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, there's an earring. I do hope we find the other one of that. That is a little bent, but I think... Oh, there's another earring. But I have to say, this necklace is darling. I am in love. Look at the little... It, these are... It looks like either shell or faux shell. Cut out little floral pieces. That looks like it's about to break right there. Uh, I love this. I'm, is it? Wow. It's got some kind of weird. Okay, so maybe that's just the way it's supposed to look inside. I don't know. Anyway, really, really super duper cute. I really like this. Um, no maker's mark or anything that I can see. But, oh, that's so cute. This one is nuts. This is an 80s earring all day, every day. Wow. Okay, we're going to set that one over there. 
We have a bangle here. Uh, I don't see any name or anything on it. Yeah, definitely magnetic. Oh, uh, I don't know. Okay, this is a bummer. So it looks like this has broken and they did save it which is not oh there's oh okay so I think these are just um like a wholesale lots of beads is my guess I don't know but I'm going to tie them together because I don't want them to get lot you know separated I don't know if they go together or not but we're going to put them together and these are beautiful. These have this, um, like, speckled. Yeah, those are beautiful. They're very galaxy looking. So black with this, like, starry um, midnight sky galaxy look. Can you guys see that? Pretty. Oh, look at that one. Oh, those are so pretty. And these are their plain cousin red. Wow, I'm digging these. These will definitely go into a um, premium bead lot for sure. For sure. Um, this is quite an earring. There. Let's pull you back out. Okay, we'll put that over there. Oof. That'll go to a beadlot. Alright, what do we have here? KMQ Fashion. What's that say? Kiss me quick. It's actually not bad looking. No price tag or anything, but interesting. I actually kind of like that. Kind of. Ooh, what do we have here? Hmm. Is there a logo in there? I don't think it's Bakelite, I think it's just plastic. Very nice. Hmm. Very, very nice. And while we're out that one, oh my. Feast your eyes on that, loves. Wow. Oh, it's Monet. I do believe this is part of Monet's Directives collection. And wow, it's dirty, it needs cleaned, but that is, oh, that go very nicely with my necklace right now, wouldn't it? So do you guys wear your bangles on your left hand or your right, uh, right arm or left arm? I should say, left arm or right arm? I love that, love it. Love eat. We'll have to look that one up. So I don't know if you saw, but I believe it was Vogue magazine said that brooches were on the way back. So vintage brooches. So if you've got a vintage brooch, be sure and check them out. Look for names. This is really pretty. I do not believe this is vintage. Um, and it's missing some pieces, but that's a very lovely piece. I wish it had all the stones in it, but it doesn't. I mean, these are rubber. Rubber beads. What is this? 
Okay, yeah. It's just plastic. I think that we'll put this in our, um, where is it? I think I see it over there. Or, what do you call it? Um, it's our grunge uh, lot. Barrel clasp, no marks or anything. It does have some. These are really cute though. You've got these little flower spacers. Those appear to be glass and they've got these. Those are, yeah, I think those are decorative. <coughs> kind of like, <coughs> excuse me, splashed paint. I think that's what that is. Let me just check. Yep, that's what it looks like. That's actually a really cute piece. Where'd my coffee go? I actually, I like this. How's the camera looking, guys? What do you think about that last piece? Hot or lot? <clears throat> Should I do another live stream? Okay, so we had another very, very nice piece. I honestly don't know what these are. They look too big to be like a necklace. Or too small to be a necklace. Because I, I don't even think you could wrap that around. I don't know what these are. I mean, do you... I don't know, folks. Uh, I mean, if you know what these are, please let me know. I, the first thing I'm th thinking is they're curtain back holders, uh, curtain holders. So you would wrap them around your curtain and then maybe tie them off. And then there's, well, in some homes, they have these... Um, pieces of hardware and then you would loop it around that and this would stay like in front of the curtain. That makes sense. That's what I, that's the only thing I can think of. <clears throat> oh, the allergies are killing me. This is a shell necklace, shell pieces. Some of these are actually really pretty, but that's just not my bag, so. We have a couple of seed bead pieces here. That actually does look like coral to me. Um, any silver marks or anything but I'm not looking all that close either yeah I'll have to look into that a little bit more and then we have another one here tri strand uh, plastic beads you know simple fashion piece it is marked that is premier designs <clears throat> little stretch bracelet there. I'm going to put this bangle back on it. If it starts making too much noise, I'll take it off. But I don't know. Ooh. Ooh. Oh my goodness. It's making me take everything out. But there is one thing in particular here I want to see. And boy, is it tangled. So while I'm untangling this, I'm just going to tell you, you know, I've had a, I've had a 
difficult past few weeks. Um, you know, it's I, I can live with being isolated. That's, I guess my biggest issue right now is just the animosity that's taking place. That's a really, really nice piece. I mean, not a nice piece. That's a, not a really nice piece. <clears throat> so here we have just some faux pearls. Might go in my vintage Christmas collection. Um, oops, sorry. These are plastic beads. Uh, of no value. Honestly, I don't know what this is all about. Oh, wait. What is this? Is it like a poison pendant? You've got a uh, moon and sun, half moon and sun, like they're canoodling. You guys see that? Yeah, see they're they this they're they're whispering to each other, and then you have this thing that screws back, screws onto the back. Interesting. Let's see if we can find any type of maker's mark. It's on this just nasty, nasty chain. Uh, it's not silver, I don't think. No. Nope. I, you know, that one's got me. I don't know. Do you guys know what that is? Is it maybe a pill holder? I don't know. Poison pill holder? Okay, let's see. Ooh, what do we got there? Huh. I see some pretties. Anyway, I'm, uh, let me get back to what I was saying. I don't know. You know, okay, so this is, please understand this is not a political statement. I'm not about to make a political statement. Um, I used to work in the executive and legislative branches of government, okay? And I have to tell you, it was the best job I ever had. And some of you might be thinking, ah, right. <laughs> sure, it was. And it was a very different time, or at least the people that I worked with were very different. I worked in a nonpartisan role, so I served both sides of the aisle. And we all got along. I mean, sure, we had our, you know, disagreements on the the floors about taxes or whatever, but then, you know, afterwards we'd all like, okay, where are we going to dinner tonight, you know, and, you know, a group of us would just go to dinner, and there would be Republicans, Democrats, Independents, it didn't matter, we all got along, and we all worked together, and if a, someone had a bill they wanted passed, you know, we... <laughs> I know you guys are out there thinking, sure, Sarah, mm -hmm, right. But it's true. We all got along and we all made things happen together. All right, I'm trying desperately to get this undone, but wow, do we have some pieces in here that are A, fabulous, I think, but B, pretty tangled. Uh, this is a simple fashion piece. Um, I like the faceted stones on there. Let's see what else we can clear out of here. I thought I undid that one. I see some rose gold in here. And I see some vintage pieces in here. Okay. Okay, so first off, we have this fashion piece. It is not marked, so this will probably go into a lot. Okay. So I'm thinking about that last piece we had. Ooh, you see what I'm doing there? You see that? Yeah. I'm seeing a, a match made in necklace heaven here. Layering is the thing right now. It's hot, hot, hot. Now, it looks like it's more for, like, you know, smaller pieces, but ooh, yeah, I like that. I like it. But I like this piece, too, quite a bit. So it is not marked. It may be a handmade piece. I don't know. But I kind of like those two together. All right. This appears to be a vintage piece. 
it is marked star on it and it's kind of sad because it looks like it had a third row and that, that row is gone um, I will have to research this I think it's a beautiful piece let's pick up what we dropped here Okay, sorry about that. Uh, yeah, it's a pretty piece. Let's just do some research on it. Okay, we have an earring there. We have an earring here, a little heart. Put those over to the side. Now it looks like we've got a fashion piece here, um, you know, kind of a religious piece. Uh, I like this. It needs cleaned, but I, I like it. The faceted beads here provide that real nice shimmer. Oh, we are missing. No, we're not. Yeah, we are missing one of the little eggs here, I guess. But you could always take this one off. So... Yeah, I don't know. What do you guys think? Hot or lot? Hot means you sell it. Lot means you lot it. Get rid of it. Oh, we have some. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Wow. Okay, so let's do these first. These definitely, I'm going to turn on the Presidium, um, the tester. These definitely look like jade or jadeite to me. The class is a barrel clasp that looks to be in a higher quality than your normal, say, you know, barrel clasp. So while that's heating up, let's look at the next one here. So uh, these are plastic, I believe. Yeah, those are plastic. I don't know if these are prayer beads or what. But the beads are fabulous. Just really awesome. Probably go into a bead lot. All right, let's get our tester out here. Oh, shoot. No, glass is what it's reading. It could be quartz. Possibly. Those just look too good to be glass. You've got some imperfections in there, and by that I mean not bubbles, but like little black marks like you would see on agate or... Huh. I don't know. I have to look into that. Let's put that one back over there. Now, let's see what we have here. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm liking what I say. I'm liking it. Let's see if we can do this quickly. I think we can. I hope we can. Um, hmm. Let's start on... Oh, that one's already undone. <laughs> All right, let's do this one. Here we go. Nope, we didn't get that one done. Okay, we did that one. All right, let's see. I got this all untangled. That obviously is just a silver tone chain. Oh. I am very giddy about these. <clears throat> Let me set these aside. Uh, this is marked. It is Quora by TJM. Is I don't know. It's it's got the 
it almost looks like a Pandora um, logo. Quora by TJM. So I, I don't know anything about this one. We'll have to research this. These two I'm quite interested in. Um, this appears to be 925. And let's take a look at these stones. I'm going to bring you in a little closer, okay? Um, and that is marked as well. You've got a pink stone and kind of a peachy stone. And it does look like there is one like diamond stone. Alright, let's get let's get let's get to testing, shall we? We're gonna do that clear stone at the top first. Oh yeah. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Can you see it? out a little bit more. Oh, I'm giddy! We have a diamond! Let's see what these are. Uh, I'm going to say some kind of quartz or tourmaline. And that's either a spinel or topaz. It could be a pink topaz. This one, though, I'm... I don't think it's glass. I mean, why would you have a diamond and then a spinel or topaz? It looks more like topaz. It, you know what I'm saying? So it does look like to be, it's topped with a rose gold. We found diamonds today, people. A diamond today. But wait, there's more. Hold on here. So here we have another pendant that is very similar, marked the same. Nine, it's 925. The chain also is 925. Let's go ahead and bring this back in. You have this piece, very similar. So that's going over to more of the tourmaline. And then you have those pink stones too. If I can get onto one. so hard. Let's do the top ones here. I think they're tourmaline. They are real stones, I can tell you that much. <coughs> um, you can see the flaws in them. Oh shoot, sorry. She does get testy. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do some more research on this or call in the expert, my mother. I don't think these are glass. I, I don't. But wait, there's more. Look at this. Uh, same kind of stone. Oh wait, there's... So this is more in the quartz. Little pink stones. I don't know. But then there's little white stones. 
they're not super clear so could this be could it be oh man they're so tiny hold on let's put on my other set of glasses so that I can see a little better okay so that's going up to oh my gosh what a pain in the derriere so that's either I like I don't know they look clear to me but Let's try and do one more of those on the top here. There's my other diamond tester. <clears throat> I will have to find it because this is just not working for me. But we've got some great finds here, folks. This is awesome, and we're not even halfway through the so we have two 925s with stones, a, a ring, same, you know, rose gold um, with some kind of stones. We're not really sure what those are. Um, so yeah, this is exciting. I'm going to put those up in our place of honor. Wasn't there another one? Oh yeah. There's that one. Yes. Okay. Uh, we're going to wait for the other piece to get warmed up before we test those again, because that was getting annoying. <clears throat> Here we have, oh wow, the stretch is gone in this, but the beads are fabulous. I love the color of these beads. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So that will go into a bead lot. We have a very nice earring, definitely not gold or silver, broken chain there. We have a fashion piece here <clears throat> that will go into a lot. Look at this, wow. So this appears to be This appears to be kind of one of those lariat, I guess, type necklaces. I'm assuming, you know. Does that go in there? Yeah. So something like that is what I'm guessing. What do you guys think? I don't know. Okay. Let's grab this back. Let's bring that down a little bit. 